Tablea for me is something that is distinctly Filipino in preparation. It was important for me to understand uh, as a chocolatier the different preparation of chocolate. In a very single hand movement, removing the shell from the actual nib that's used to make cacao. And then once you get into that cacao nib, then you could grind that up and then make that into your cacao mixture where you would combine that with sugar. When you combine that cacao and that sugar, then that's ultimately how you create chocolate. And depending on the different ratios, depending on if you put milk powder, you know, the range is, is, is vast. You can make your milk chocolates, your dark chocolates, you can make semi-sweet chocolates. But uh, so that's essentially how you would make the blea. It's very much like bean to bar. Okay. She was doing that one-handed and it's actually very heavy. <laughs> Because you're in the tropics and you need to make sure that you have it, you know, shelf stable and it's rolled into a ball or rolled into discs, and that's why since it's rolled into a disc and it looks like that, that's why it's called tablet or tablet. No matter what kind of resources, no matter what kind of equipment they had, they had the wherewithal to figure out how to make this amazing treat for themselves, their families, and their neighbors their production, the way that they make chocolates, but just the kind of care and attention and soul they put into their product was impressive.